Welcome to Motorcycle Monday. Hey guys, today I'm going to take you to a place that I believe perfectly demonstrates where the church is going in the future. It's going to surprise you. So here we are in a picturesque New England town and right behind me you see the village church. And in front of me is a town green, which I'll show you in just a second. So here we are in a picturesque New England town. Right here is the town green, which is where the village would congregate. And here's the church on the town green, which is a very common sight, and I'll tell you why. So it's very common in many towns in this area for there to be a town green and a church at the center of that green. The reason is the town and its life centered around the center of this town, and the center of the town was the church. In fact, in many towns in this area, in their town charter that they wrote specifically to the King of England, they wrote, we are establishing this town for the worship of God, and the first building that we will build is a church building for the worship of God as a community. Now, we consider the building behind me a church, which technically, it's called a church. However, when the Bible refers to the church, it doesn't refer to a building, it refers to people called out group of people or a local community of people. So the Church Universal is the churches that gather together locally as they are held as a, a universal being where Ephesians 3 says, now through the church God makes himself known to principalities and powers. But we also know the church has people in it. Part of those people are leaders. We talked about the leaders that are necessary for the church to become the best church it could be. The leaders of a city aren't so that they can run the city, but so that the city can run better. The leaders of the church aren't so that they can run the church, but so that the church will be the church better. Then there are the ministers of the church, the saints that are called to do the work of their ministry, their, their service to the community. Your ministry is not just because you're a paid professional minister, but because you are called by God, you have the wisdom of God inside of you, and God has a unique wisdom inside of you that he needs to make known to the atmosphere around you. But the most important part of Ephesians 4, it says, until we all come to the fullness of the stature of the measure of Christ, so that we may be lacking nothing, we may be complete and have maturity. You know, a church isn't just a group of people. It's actually a group of people that when they come together in their community, their community sees Jesus. The way that principalities and powers are going to see the manifest wisdom of God is when you, that has Christ in you, become equipped to do the work that you're called to do, your gifts, your calling, your talents, your purpose in life. And when you demonstrate that in the city, that is when the atmosphere will change. And so I believe this is where the church is going. Not that we're going to build more churches on town greens, but that literally the called out ones are going to take their place in the center of their communities. They're going to see transformation because of the wisdom of God that's inside of them. Yes, we'll continue to worship and celebrate as communities, as congregations, but we'll realize that the church is not a building behind us. It's actually something inside of us. We are the church and you get to be the church everywhere you go. So I enjoyed this discovery that we've had together. I hope you continue to study about who you are and what you're called to be as a church because everything that I do in this next season is to equip those that are called out to demonstrate the manifold wisdom of God to the atmosphere around them. And we wanna give you resources to do exactly that, to not just go to church, but to be the church. That's what I invite you to do. This week, go out and be the church. See you next time on Motorcycle Monday.